Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, randomize the skin color of this civilian character. So this guy has some green like skin and normal and more red skin. So yeah, that's what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, uh, now let's see how to give some variations to the cloth. So, yeah, maybe, yeah, let's start with this character. No, not the cloth. Let's start with skin. Yeah, that's better. So this is this body mat. Ah, this is eyes. And what's this? This is the skin. And what's this one? Ah, right eyelashes okay so this is the main body color is defined uh, right so how do we change the body color okay let's see what happens if we maybe multiplying may not be a good idea yeah maybe just like we did for the hair let's now let's first try multiplying and see how it works promote this to a vector parameter let's call it body color tint well black is not a good choice so default value should be white so that would have the same color And let's apply now it looks like this so let's see what happens if we change the body tint oh so actually we can do some changes with the body tint yeah better okay so let's go with this that approach works but the default value should be one 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 body color tint that's the parameter name so in here I'll define another function well let's duplicate this and change it randomize body color or maybe we should call it the skin color but no body color is good enough let's define another variable body colors 
well <laughs> these values would give definitely give some odd results so therefore i think i need to come up with some working colors but uh, yeah i think no we can't use black here because uh, if we use black the character will be totally black because multiplying with zero zero will always result zero zero and we need to make them closer to white because otherwise we would have drastic results okay and we need to call this function in the begin play randomize body color let's see where is this character okay this guy looks a little white I guess oh wait I forgot to change the parameter name here yeah it should be body color tint now it should work Yeah, this guy is green. Awesome, cool. And he's also green and red. Oh, another green dude with red hair. And red hair with the dark guy dark brown guy well here is a very black character all right but you get the idea we can find out what colors would work better oh no actually I got something else also here we should use body colors not the hair colors sorry about that now we should see some ne neutral results no this guy is very black and yeah it seems all of uh, all of them are too black yeah why is that well, what's this error randomize body color set access none trying to read structure g why is that this is also linear color What's the problem? Shall we play again? Oh. Well, yeah. I connected it like this and still I get this error let's break them and set again get a reference
attempted, attempted to access index 0 from array body colors of length 0. Does that happen? Because I duplicated this structure. Alright then. Let's delete it and add again body colors. Oh, that time I didn't add any errors. It seems like a bug, so let's paste. And let's make this one white. Okay. Now I think it is working. Yeah, it is working, but the colors are a bit harsh. Let's make them more neutral then. Okay. Let's see how they looks then. Do they look all same? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Now these colors are better, I think. Yeah. <laughs> looks like Hulk. Okay, yeah, those colors are definitely better. And one more thing about hair, I should make them more dark because they look super unrealistic. <laughs> they are not realistic, of course, but they should have some sense of realism at least. Better. all right so with that I'll stop this episode for today and uh, yeah as always if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and I have released a version of this a pedestrian AI system and the raw blueprint you can download from the patron page so yeah if you join my patron page open world developers tier you will have access to not just this file but also all the file releases I have done so far and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye